Here's my two favorite stretches for the glutes for an absolute beginner. So if you've got zero flexibility in hip external rotation, this is for you. Come on over, grab yourself a bench. And what I love about doing this with a bench is that it's completely scalable to your level of flexibility. So if you're really lacking flexibility, you're gonna do this first exercise up here. And if you're a little bit more flexible, then you'll be going down here a bit. When I started, I was at 60 degrees, so I was here. And now I'm down at 45 degrees. And the first thing we're gonna do, this isn't actually a stretch. This is an end range contraction for the external rotators. So you're gonna get almost at your end range for hip external rotation. Somewhere where you can barely lift your foot off the bench. So again, if you need to go up higher, then do that. And then from here, we're gonna have the knee at hip height and I'm gonna contract really hard for 10 seconds. And we're gonna do this three times. So I'm gonna lift as hard as I can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And what we're doing with these end range contractions is that we're basically hacking the nervous system. We're gonna go again, only a five second break. And you're, you're shutting down some of the body's ability to contract the opposing muscle systems, which is what limits your flexibility. And when you do this enough, you basically teach the nervous system that this is a range of motion that it can actually control. And it has an immediate impact on flexibility, where if you go now from here, straight into a loaded stretch, like this one. So now what we're doing is, so this is a, an elevated pigeon. So again, if you're somebody that doesn't have a lot of flexibility, then you'll do it like this, okay? And if you really don't have a lot of flexibility, bring your knee up higher here. And so the idea is, is that when you lean forward that you can feel it in your butt, in your glutes. Now, I actually don't have great hip external rotation, which is why I'm doing these exercises, rather than just doing a pigeon stretch on the floor. But I have made some good progress, so I'm down at the bottom of the bench now, which is harder than being at the top, and I'm down to a 15 degree angle. And then from here, what we're gonna do is an eccentric contraction. So we're going down slow, and then back up. And we're going to do 10 reps of this. Two, and you're going right down as far as you can to your end range. Three, Four, and you're really loading up the glutes here. If you feel it in the side of your knee, you need to elevate a bit more or go higher because that means that you've gone beyond the capabilities of your hip external rotation and now the pressure's going into your knee. Okay, I've lost count, but I think that's six. We'll call it six anyway. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, and now from here, you're gonna get as far as you can right to your end range of your stretch, and we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. Three, four, so what we're doing, I won't time exactly 30 seconds, rather I'll talk you through why this works so well. So the end range contraction first, it strengthens your body at end range, which is where you need it. It also teaches the nervous system that this is a usable range, but it has an immediate effect on your ability to stretch into external rotation, because it shuts down some of the nervous system's sensory neurons that detect that you're going too far in your stretch and, that, and then contract the opposing muscles. So basically, I know this word is overused, but it's literally hacking your nervous system, okay? And then when you go into the loaded stretch, loaded eccentrics are a really, really good way. So an eccentric contraction is when the muscle is lengthening during the contraction. And when you're doing that, that's about 30 seconds, when you're doing that, um, straight after the end range contraction. What that does is it's strengthening the muscle fibers, but it's also taking you through full range of motion because you've got this new range that you've just accessed through the end range contraction. And then you finish it all off with a 30 second hold right at the end range. Three sets of this, three times a week, and I promise you you're going to see some real hip external rotation flexibility improvements in the next couple of months. Give it a try, let me know how you go. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, watch one of those ones there, and uh, I'll see you in my next video.